man. <laughs> I'm going to have to give an apology, yeah. man. <laughs> man. <laughs> Yo, speaking of chef's kiss, we have garlic bread Woo-hoo. versus YJK. I do love myself a nice uh, YJK. We <laughs> 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 no, shout out to Garland Bragg. Uh, so this is a winner's quarterfinals to move on to, uh, I believe, top 24, if I got my maths right. No, top 48. I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the scene director will come in my ear and be like, hey, Rita, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be pretty good. But uh, we're getting set up here. We see Chip on one side. and uh, Chip geez. versus Kyle. Finally, Kai Gaming. So yes, t- I got confirmation it will be Top 16. Top 16, yes. That's an even smaller number. That's a, that's a tiny it number. It got better and better. Right. I'm like, I'm out here like talking about baby numbers and, you know, <laughs> stream director comes baby by Baby numbers like 48, 48 and 37. And stream director's like, 52. Don't, don't underestimate <laughs> babies. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, Ooh. excuse me. We just saw a controller try to hijack the match. Ooh. Smart you. stuff, disconnecting it. Yeah, smart, smart move. Oh, they're just going right into it. Button checks are fake. Yeah, it's time for Ki- it's time for Kai Gaming. <laughs> yes, Kyle Gaming. I can't so believe meet Kyle's here. <laughs> You've been playing a lot of Kai recently, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. So anytime I get to watch more Kai, it has actually like empowered me like a Super Saiyan style. Like every match I watch, I get more powerful every single time. Well, I've got some bad news for you because it looks like YJK is out here saying you're not going to get to watch Kai play if they have anything to say about it. Nice bars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or not, but yeah, bars. <laughs> but right there, YJK just controlling the entire matchup there. There was just really very little opportunity for Garlic Brick to really break bread with YJK. Really unfortunate there, but still trying to find the way out there. A burst will probably get a little bit of opportunity, but at this point, it is just very, very hard. Defense is uh, paying out here. Oh, counter hit. Mm-hmm. Chip, the king of making minus frames look plus. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But great 6P from Garlic Red here. And just a DP on Wake Up. YGK does not care. It's such. Whoo! They're bursting. They want this round. Mm-hmm. But on the bright side for Garlic Red, that is a winning condition now. The opponent cannot burst, and especially with someone like Chip. One good counter hit will finish Chip off from this point onward. Oh, they have the yellow stuff on them. They go for it. This yeah. is a dead ship. That's yeah, absolutely a dead ship. Oh, never mind. They didn't actually do the pickup with the uh, stun uh, stun dipper. Wild. But, but that will end it off. A uh, high stress situation. But we are moving on to round three here. Mm-hmm. And so one thing I'm seeing from Gully Bread is that they're trying to use a lot of 2P Abare between YJK's moves. And the problem isn't that it's not frame advantage, advantageous or anything like that for them, but that YJK is too far away to actually get hit by a 2P. And that is leaving Garlic Bread open in wild ways. And speaking of wild, oh, that is another a guard top off wrist gauge. <laughs> that was uh, just a couple lights and a, one more button, and it was almost 50% light. Right. Wrist gauge is scary. <laughs> right. Wrist gauge is wild. Nice YRC. Dashes oh, in after. it down. Uh-oh. Oh no, this is gonna be good damage off this one. Show me your sick combo. Nice, there we go. Good damage off the mid screen. Which was the corner. Alright, so we are back at neutral. Oh no. Betting it all. Ooh. Here we go. This mix-up might be everything. Goal burst! BRC! RC! Get into the other side here. Chase is down. 150 meter. Use in just two seconds. And there it is, the command grab again. Oh, that is so unfortunate, though. They, they reacted to one another very, very well, but they just could not pan out to, like, close out the match with that 150 meter that was just thrown out the window super quickly. We kind of saw this uh, yesterday with YJK. They like to use the command grab basically none mm-hmm. until right when it's really important that it hits. It's a tool that they choose to save to make it much, much stronger in the situations where it's important. And we saw that a bit at the end of that round there as well. Yeah, that absolutely makes sense. Because, I mean, Garlic Break got one, but not because of jumping or anything like that. It was because of the gold burst situation. And then Garlic Break has otherwise been hit by every single one. So showing a little bit of signs of weakness there. Absolutely understandable. I'm not great at Leaf Guys myself. <laughs> but uh, but that's especially that's if, like, the chip isn't making you look for it. Mm-hmm. Like, it it's, it's, it's an interesting concept to, instead of using it as a tool to make the mental stack more compl- nice, situational awareness that the grab whiff getting the punish there for YJK but uh, just to finish the thought instead of using the tool to keep the mental stack deep at all times 
sacrificing that layer of utility for just having it not be on the mental stack at all and super difficult to deal with when it is good. Right, right, exactly. It's, it's just as good as the last time you used it because you're not using it at all. So everyone's surprised at this point. And that's the kind of surprise that you want, especially at the end of a round. Ooh, Blix blocks the J2K there. That was super good. Counter hit. This is damage, especially with the wall break. So back to neutral here, but I feel like, yeah, YJK has just been using very far poking normals, and Garlic Break has not been able to navigate that, unfortunately. Case in point. <laughs> what a button. <laughs> All right, breaks ankles there. Going to wait in just a little bit. Nice patience from YJK, waiting for the burst bait. Ooh, gold burst again. There it is. That should be good damage from there on out. Garlic Bread. Garlic Bread has sniffed out the strategy, mm -hmm. recognizing, all right, Leaf Grab comes out after a very long time when it's going to kill me. Yeah, yeah. And it has been reacting with Gold Burst on top of everything else here. And, you know, getting the kill off of that was absolutely wonderful with Garlic Bread. Super good stuff. A great way to get back into this set. And, you know, Strive, as mentioned very frequently, is a heavily momentum-based team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the momentum is definitely on YGK's side right now. And that wall break. Like, I wouldn't even say the matches that Garlic Break has won. If the momentum has still been on YJK's yeah. side, honestly. A garlic Bread trying to take it back, but YJK just barreling forward. 2-0 mm -hmm. during this set. YJK now in the position to have to get the reverse 3-0. And it's, it's just such a hard thing we have a player like YJK playing you in a bracket because they're just going in until you make them stop. And by making you have to make them stop by making their character lose all their life. And that's <laughs> so hard to really deal with because we have that consistent pressure. You're already overthinking everything as is because you're on stage. You're a little bit nervous. You're in tournament play. You know that this is actually worth a lot. It, you have a lot to be thinking about here. And, and if there's any player that you're not going to make them stop, it's a chip player. Oh, no. Chip I, players are just like this. Which, as you should, mind you. And we're not, yeah. not saying that's a bad thing. That, no, it's, as it's you always should. been this way. If you're playing chip and you're playing them at a, turn, a high stakes tournament level, this is the chip special. They're doing things, they're pressing their special mo moves, they are left, right, up and down around you, and it is your job to make them stop. Exactly, but the only thing that's gonna stop YJK right now is finishing off this match with a 3-0 potentially. Looking really good here, Garlic Bread finds himself in the corner, looking a little bit stale. Stale bread. It's, it's a goddamn shame. Well, I mean, <laughs> it is a Smash tournament, so there is gonna be some staling. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some stale <laughs> moves out here for sure. YJK getting a lot of them. these certain moves here. Just working out so well with that Alpha Blade. So good. Using the Alpha Blade in that situation where it looks like the Leaf Grab is going to come out catching the jump out. And YJK, a master of how they layer their offense. Oh, yeah. Looking like Nachos right now. Doing so good. I love that combo. That is such a cool combo. It's so slick. YRC, the right. best dead angle I've ever seen in my life. Trying to get out of the corner here. Oh, he tries to use JS, but Kai turns around. That's so unfortunate. Not able to get that hit on YJK to get a punish. And that will make YJK move on. Winner's quarterfinals, top 16. Running a chip yeah. clinic. Yes, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Dipping into the powers that be. Good stuff from YJK there. Absolutely. I, you know, I'm glad it's, I'm glad I'm sitting here in the commentator <laughs> booth and not down there trying to block YJK chip. Yeah, I'm, I, I ain't trying to get the smoke. I ain't trying to get this chip. <laughs> YJK, IDK even know them. <laughs> but no, still really great stuff. We're seeing a lot of strong play.